Um, I also am glad to see everybody and hope you're having a good annual meeting so far. Um, it's been uh, quite, the, quite my pleasure and also, you know, stressful moments of pulling together the first uh, sort of program chair managed uh, piece outside of the uh, old system of uh, someone who goes from vice president to program chair to president. Um, and so um, I'm excited that this is coming together in the way it is. Um, we've had one of our four plenaries already today, one that was looking at sort of irresponsible answers to our question, whose children are they? And we have three more plenary panels that are coming up. There's one tomorrow, um, on early uh, childhood educators and their responses to this question. Um, and then on Thursday, we have the third and fourth. One will look at parents and caregivers and other kinds of caregivers and what their responses are to that question. And then uh, those who work with adolescents and what their responses are. So we've got the um, a sort of a variety of perspectives coming at that. And then of course, all the wonderful um, collaborations and papers that are also picking up some piece, some thread of that conversation in response to that question. Um, we also have a reflection session on uh, at the end of the annual meeting on Friday, um, which is just an opportunity for um, those who uh, still have some mental and emotional bandwidth to come together and just share some of the things that have stood out to them, quite lingering questions um, that we might have um, to just listen to what other people gleaned from the uh, annual meeting um, uh, that might be something to add to your own list. And then of course, um, as Mary mentioned, we've also got this um, resource list that we're putting together. And I'm just going to put it up, uh, share screen for a minute so you can see. Um, it's a simple Google Doc uh, with lots of links on it. Um, and you can uh, go to it and uh, comment on it for things to add. The only reason I've got the comment on rather than editor is because I don't want anybody to accidentally delete something as, if you're not familiar with Google Docs. But we've got material here, journals, um, associations, centers, and research groups general articles and interviews around children's spirituality and children's religious education, um, pedagogy sites, um, uh, materials uh, about religion in public schools, uh, uh, related materials to the boarding schools, um, and uh, something on domestic violence in particular with children, a forthcoming uh, book, a chapter in a book. So I really encourage you, um, if you hear of something, if you have something, if you know of something that is about children and religious education, um, to please add it to the list. Um, and then we hope to make this also available on the REA website after the meeting as a resource uh, list that everyone can have and perhaps continue to add to, uh, much like the current resource list that's there. Um, so I encourage you to participate in that way as you are able as well. Um, and so I hope that this meeting continues to be good for um, everyone um, and that if you have any questions or concerns or things that you're wondering about whether we're going to talk about them, um, please you know, drop a note in the chat or drop a note to me um, at my email and I'll put that in here. Um, and also uh, one last thing, and if you happen, I'm, I'm not uh, with this group, if you happen to be uh, one of the recipients of a uh, Lilly grant related to the children's initiatives that are going on, um, the children in worship or the uh, Christian parenting or any other of the um, invited or um, juried uh, uh, competitions for grants there. We do have a Lilly cohort group scheduled uh, for tomorrow afternoon. Eastern time. Um, and it's a, a drop in as well as Dean Blevins has put together some uh, uh, kind of conversational structure for that. So please join in and share about that work uh, with others or come listen in to the kind of grant projects that folks are doing. I know that um, uh, we heard in one of the sessions about what Candler and uh, Columbia are working on with their particular things, but we've got several other REA members who are engaged in these as well. So I would like to welcome you all to that if you hadn't noticed or understood what that might be when you saw it on the schedule. And with that, I'll turn it over to Lakeisha. Thank you, Camry. Um, so I'm actually going to, uh, Mary and I swap, so I'm going to turn it back over to Mary and help her out and then come back, so. 
<laughs> Go for it, Mary. And, and and there's a part of me. Okay, guys, I'm going to throw a wrench in the works. We have a script for this, but um, that we worked on earlier. But I'm going to ask um, if it's okay, Karen, Mary, and Rokisha, if we actually do a really brief round of introductions. I think it would be really nice to um, hear where people are coming from and. Um, I maybe I'll just call on you in the order that you're on my screen because I know everybody's screen is different. Um, but if you could say who you are, where you're zooming in from, and maybe what your experience briefly with REA has been. Like I've been here since 1997, but maybe you just joined this week on a trial membership. So that might give us this. And some there are people in this room who hold different roles. So let's just do that for a moment. Um, Try to keep it brief. Um, so Norma, you're first on my screen. So can you please just unmute and briefly? I'm Norma Cook Everest, zooming in from Mason City, Iowa. I've been part of REA and OPRE before that since the mid 1970s. Um, I taught at Yale Divinity School at Wartburg Seminary in Dubuque um, for 41 years. I now consider myself a teaching theologian, still teach a bit, um, and so much appreciate REA through the years. Thanks. Um, Von Clemens, you're next. Hi, uh, Von Clemens. I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, I am a uh, retired practitioner, uh, joined the REA in, I think, 2015. I uh, have been coming to the conferences for a number of years. Um, am enjoying the interaction with uh, the, the academy and the insights that we get from all the good research that's being done then. So delighted to be here. Thanks. Um, Kimball, maybe I'm pronouncing your name wrong. I apologize in advance. Oh, I'm not hearing you. Can everybody else hear you? I know you're unmuted. So is your input audio? I'm going to let you work on that while you think about it. Cheryl, you're next on my screen. Thanks, Mary. I'm Cheryl. I'm tuning in from Horsefly Lake, British Columbia in Canada. And oh, I first attended an REA meeting in 2017 when I did a poster. And that was the first year of my, um, my doctoral research. So yep, yeah, that's me. Yeah, you're still coming. Gregory Ron, you're next on <laughs> my screen. Hi, I'm Gregory Ron. I've actually just been a part of REA for a month or two now. Actually, um, Mary Hess is the one who suggested I do this. I run a very small faith formation publishing business, um, looking to um, learn more and get some visibility. So I'm in Pleasant Prairie, Wisconsin. Thanks. Leon Blanchett. Again, I apologize for mispronunciation. Thank you. You got it. Uh, Leon Blanchett. I am a professor of Christian ministry at Olivet Nazarene University just outside of Chicago. Um, I became a part of REA on Friday. So <laughs> I'm a newbie in that regard. Uh, I've been teaching at Olivet for 20 years and have been a children's pastor since 1984. Welcome. Natasha Crozier. Hi, I'm Natasha. I have, I'm coming in from Hamilton, Ontario um, in Canada, and I'm an MDiv student. So I just joined this like two months ago, really looking forward to learning about all your research because I'm reading it for my research. Welcome. Barbara Fierce. Hello, everyone. I am in Arlington, Virginia, just outside DC. You can see I'm repping the school, Howard, today. And I have been a member, I believe, since around 2007, when I started my doctoral program at Garrett under my academic advisor right there, Jack Seymour. Um, and it's just, it helped me get through the program, and it still um, keeps me abreast of, of different, um, you know, pedagogies and, and what have you that are going on in the field. So, I really appreciate it, the critical engagement. Thanks, everyone. You're welcome. Young Cho Lee. Hello, um, 
It's actually Jung Cha. So, uh, but that's you. okay, Mary. Thank you. <laughs> um, I'm joining in from Seoul, South Korea at this moment. I studied in the United States for a while, but came back here four years ago. I joined the REA, I think about around 2016, uh, that time. And um, I'm very happy to uh, be able to join this wonderful conference again because it's online. So thank you very much. Nice to see you all. So glad you can. Erin Reibel or Reibel? Reibel, you got it right on the first try. Um, nice job. Uh, I am from Richmond, Virginia. I'm the Associate Director at the Children's uh, Spirituality Research and Innovation Hub. Um, and I've been a member about a week. Welcome. <laughs> Elizabeth Nolan. Unmuting. Hello, Elizabeth Nolan from uh, Glasshouse Country Uniting Church in Queensland, uh, just north of Brisbane. Um, I've been a member of REA and APRI since 1983, uh, when I began uh, doing my do doctoral study under Will Kennedy at Union Theological Seminary and Teachers College, Columbia University. This is a very important academic and practitional group for me. Uh, I really appreciate all the activities and seeing you again um, just really fills my heart with great, great joy. Blessings to you. Oh. And it's a great conference. Thanks, and uh, Karen Marie. And, <laughs> and Blessings Lisa. to you, Beth. Jack Seymour, you're next in my screen. Uh, Jack Seymour, retired from Garrett Evangelical. I'm coming to you from Nashville, Tennessee. No, I don't sing country music. This is where I'm retired. Um, uh, I served as editor of the journal uh, for a period of time, and I just counted up uh, listening to uh, Norma. Uh, I joined REA and APRI in 1975, so just a couple years back. Um, and I've just been excited and delighted with the sessions I've been at at this conference. It's been amazing. And it's this kind of energy. And I really enjoy seeing the uh, increased diversity of international and other folk, uh, the way that culture and uh, nationality relate to this is really important. Blessings. <laughs> And it wasn't just some time, it was a very long time you were editor of the journal, Jack. <laughs> um, Patricia Bonilla, I'm sorry if I mispronounce. Thank you, Mary. Patricia Bonilla. Um, <clears throat> it's so great to be here and to see familiar faces. I also studied at Garrett um, Evangelical uh, under Jack when I was doing my uh, master's. Um, now I'm working on a PhD at Garrett, um, and I'm very excited to be here. Um, I am uh, just uh, a member, like, for three years. I started during the pandemic, and um, it was just wonderful to have this online platform and also to have uh, various meetings throughout the year um, to stay connected, so I really enjoyed that. Um, I'm coming uh, at you from Tulsa, Oklahoma. I just landed. Um, I'm here for the um, regional gathering, so I'll, I'll meet up with folks tomorrow. I'm excited for that. And um, I just started a new position as instructor in Christian education at Austin Presbyterian Theological Seminary, so I'm excited for that as well. Uh, uh, glad to be here. Um, so many, so so excited for uh, all the wonderful scholarship. <laughs> welcome, Mark Hearn. Hey, everybody. It's good to be with you all. Uh, Mark Hearn. I am at Church of Divinity School of Pacific in Berkeley, California. But currently, I am calling in from Korea, the beautiful island of Jeju in, in Korea. Um, and so it's good to be here with you all. I serve as the academic dean at, at CDSP. And then I'm also the proposals chair, the chair of the proposals committee here for REA. And I've been doing that now for about a year. Um, I've been with REA since 2007 when I came to my first conference as a student, as a, as a graduate student. So it's good to be here with you all. Wow. Raphael Yabut, Yabut, I'm sorry. 
Hi, Mary. I'm Rafael Yabut. I'm coming to you from Manila, the Philippines. And I'm a PhD candidate at Boston College. And I'm also starting to teach uh, theology at the Ateneo de Manila University here in the Philippines. Uh, I think this is my third REA now, uh, all online. So I'm still glad to be here with you all. Uh, good morning from the Philippines. Good morning. Israel Diaz. I am Israel Diaz, originally from Puerto Rico, and I grew up in Miami, Florida. Um, taught Catholic high school for about 20-something years and currently moved to Atlanta, Georgia. I currently started a new position at Candler School of Theology working as instructional designer. And so we're working with a new Master of Divinity hybrid and also uh, starting a program called La Mesa Academy for Theological Education that's reaching out to uh, Latinx communities and trying to provide a theological certification uh, for them. And this is my third year here at REA. Welcome, welcome. Dr. Tom Legrand. Um, okay, so I am, uh, first of all, I apologize for the doctor before my name and the arrogance of that, but somebody tagged me with that during the pandemic and I've never been able to get rid of it. I am the uh, university chaplain for spiritual life at Limestone University in Gaffney, South Carolina. I actually live in Greenville, South Carolina and direct the Adama Christian Education and Leadership Program at Limestone. My first REA was in 2016, uh, two days before Donald Trump got elected. Uh, we were in Pittsburgh and I presented at that conference and um, kind of felt, you know, left the academy. I was at Gardner Webb University, left that and went back to the pastorate and kind of let my membership lapse a little bit and picked it back up in 2020. So I am here once again. Well, welcome back. Um, again, I'm apologizing in advance for my mispronunciation. Tabita Christiani, Tabita. Yeah, you got it. Thank you. <laughs> hey, everyone. I am Tabita Christiani. Good morning from Indonesia. <laughs> uh, I am teaching Christian education at the Faculty of Theology, Duta Wacana Christian University in Yogyakarta, Indonesia. And I joined uh, REA the first time in 2004 when I did my doctoral degree at Boston College. But after that, I left when I went back home and then rejoined in 2021 when it became online. <laughs> and so this is my fourth uh, REA annual meeting that I attended and I'm very glad to be here. And I found out that uh, from 2021, the REA annual meeting became an international one. So I'm really glad about that. Thank you. I'm so glad that you're with us. Christine Hung, yeah. you are next on my screen. Hi, friends. Uh, my name is Christine Hong. I am calling in from Atlanta, Georgia. I teach religious and interreligious education at Columbia Theological Seminary. I'm also the Jedi officer, justice, equity, in, uh, diversity, and inclusion for the REA. And it's, um, I think this is kind of the anniversary of our first year trying this out together. And it's been awesome. Um, I'm trying to remember when my first REA was. It was definitely when I was a doctoral student and Cheryl Kajau Holbrook uh, told me I had to come if I wanted to be a religious educator and I had no other option. And I think it was 2011 and it was super transformative. I think I like, it felt like so much of what I understood was just kind of in the text really settled in my bones after hearing so many senior scholars talk about their work and meeting them in person was just kind of, it blew my mind. I know everyone kind of has that experience too. So um, yeah, this is a special place. And I'm really glad to be here with you all. And next is our outgoing president, Patrick Reyes. <laughs> I'm going, I love it. What's going on, everybody? So I am Patrick Reyes. I'm the 
How going, President Varier? I'm the dean at Auburn Theological Seminary. Also, I like to say I'm part of the practi practitioner crew. You know, I had to take a bunch of middle schoolers on a Jewish retreat overnight. They smell, they're annoying, they make dumb jokes. So if that doesn't make me a practitioner, I don't know what does. Uh, but grateful to be here with all of you. And I just want to say, you know, thank you to the executive team and to Karen Marie for just an incredible, incredible um, meeting and the ability to match time zones and the I'm I'm watching this in Spanish, you know, on the closed captions and seeing the translators on early. I mean, this is just amazing. So just thank you. And thank you all for showing up on this. We have lots to thank you for, Patrick, in, uh, in this big transition. Next on my screen is Graham Han. Graham. Hey, good morning, everyone. I'm joining from Korea. Uh, my name is Karam Han, and I'm a student PhD candidate at Garrett Theolo Garrett Evangelical Theological Seminary. And uh, I joined REA in 2018 when we had an uh, in-person meeting in Washington, D.C. And at the time, I was a master's student. And thanks to uh, Dr. Kathy Dolson, who invited me to join, uh, even though I was a master's student. And that was my first time to join. And I continue to uh, come to REA. And now I am currently student representative at REA. Glad to meet you, everyone. I want to note that um, I'm going to mispronounce this name. Missy Anchoy has added an introduction to the chat because the video is not working. Um, it, so please read that. Um, Kimball, did you manage to get your sound working? Let's see. Yes. Does that work? OK. I thought I got it squared away. I'm Kimball Sokos, and I'm joining you from Austin, Texas. I am a um, I am going to be starting PhD program at Garrett Evangelical this fall, and I first became part of REA as a um, a friend of mine who is in a P P R R E said, "Hey, there's these buddy passes. You should go," and so and so I came, and then I joined. So so yeah. So that's, this is my third. Welcome. Noelle Shul, I noticed you've joined us. We're just introducing ourselves briefly. Uh, thanks. Sorry, I'm late. Um, I'm Noel Shul. Uh, I live in St. John's, Newfoundland, Eastern Canada on the Atlantic Ocean. Um, I'm retired uh, prof in uh, religious education from Memorial University. And my area was curriculum and instruction. And I've been very pleased so far to hear a lot said about curriculum and instruction in religious education. So nice to see you all and meet you all and uh, looking forward to the next three days. All right, Lakeisha, how about you? So hello, um, my name is Lakeisha Lockhart. I um, am the executive secretary for the Religious Education Association. I uh, have been for three years. Um, uh, so excited, still adjusting, still learning, still growing. <laughs> um, I have been a part of REA since, I, again, as many of you in my PhD program when I was at BC and Tom Groom and Teresa Key for like, girl, get here. Um, this is where you need to be. Um, I mean, not like that, because I actually can't envision Tom Groom saying girl like that, but y'all, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, and I've been here ever since, I think it'll be almost a decade in another year or so. Yeah, um, so that's exciting. Um, yeah, so I'm clearly, I wanted to be a part of REA and want to be a part of kind of the future of REA and what this means and looks like, and I'm enjoying the work. Um, yeah, and I'm just enjoying this gathering as well. The, the language piece is really, I'm, I'm loving it so much. And also just seeing everyone from so many different places on the screen is just uh, making my heart very, very happy. So I'm, I'm just excited to be here. Thanks. And Karen Marie, do you want to say anything else? Sure. Well, I will say that um, I didn't, hadn't realized it, but this is my 25th year. It feels like an important anniversary since 1998. 
Um, I am, as you already know, program chair, but I'm also the acting chair of the Committee on Academic Disciplines, uh, whose job it is to try to figure out how to connect up with um, all the different uh, professional societies and graduate students and all those pieces. And, uh, and I'm excited to be doing that in this new era of trying to figure out how to be very international through online um, annual meetings. Um, so, uh, but it's, yeah, it's been a lot, a lot of years and I can't believe it's been that many, but um, good to see you all. Did I miss anybody? I think I saw Teresa O'Keefe sneak in here. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Oh, and I have a whole other page. Okay. So Teresa. Yep. There's others who came after me. So uh, keep it going. So I'm <laughs> Teresa O'Keefe and it's great to be with you all. Uh, I'm at Boston College and the faculty there at the School of Theology and Ministry. Today has been my busy REA day, so this is kind of capping it off. Um, I've been a member since the early 2000s when I was doing doctoral work, and uh, I think Mary Hess and others were ahead of me in the crowd, so that was really, it's been a really important part of the my guild, and I'm really glad to be a part of the organization. Now, I will say I do appreciate the fact that we can have this online format because then I get to see my friend Tabita in Indonesia and Raphael in the Philippines. But I have to admit, I really do miss just running into people in the hallway and having those other interactions. So I'm going to put a shout out for maybe a, an, inter, uh, an alternating years of in-person and online. Just throw that out there. But I think it's a great organization and I'm proud to be a part of it. Monique, I think you you've come in since like we started. Or no, she was in Tulsa. Did she did did Monique, did you introduce yourself already? Did we miss anybody else? This is the problem with doing it this way. If we miss somebody else, please just unmute. sorry, I I was looking at the right buttons. Um I just entered uh, uh after I must say, I, I got the last words uh, from Teresa. Indeed, a long day. We both started at eight o'clock this morning, uh, at least in my time zone. And uh, we had a very nice dinner in the regional gathering with some people at Tulsa. So I don't want to um, uh, point it too much, but it's really amazing to have that after talk, after this impressive plenary and opening up and seeing old friends again, and then also have a chat about how are you doing and what's happening inside you. So I'm very happy that I, I'm here right now. Um, and uh, normally I live in the Netherlands and I'm a professor there at Tilburg University and great to see so many familiar faces again and to meet new ones. But especially meeting new ones is very difficult if you don't have a coffee break together to just get a few looks uh, in the eyes to each other. But it's awesome still that we can meet like this. So I'm very grateful for that. Thank you. I think maybe we're gonna keep learning and practicing as creative religious educators, how to make it even better, right? As we lean into this modality. We had on our, did I miss anybody else? Is there anybody else who's come in since we started, who, who hasn't introduced themselves yet? One of the things we're learning. Okay, we had on our agenda to walk you through the website a little bit. Part of the welcome reception is to help new members orient, and that's why I thought it was great that we could go around because we have so many people here who have so much experience um, in the association for years and years and years. And I think that actually probably says more than anything else. But I will show you the website briefly um, just because... <laughs> I think there's a lot of useful resources on it that people don't always notice. Um, so here's the REA main website, right? Um, and there's a link right there to get to the schedule of the conference if you want. We have in the center of it a new stream that changes all the time. You can subscribe via RSS. If you don't know what that is, I'm happy to help you with that at some later point. So every time a new post goes up on the website, you'll get an email about it. We have a tab here that has, whoops, that has all sorts of stuff in it about um, our mission, how to contact us, frequently asked questions, who's on the board of directors, which might be interesting for you to see. Um, we have a very, very participatory collaborative organization. So you can find lots of information under that tab. Um, 
You can find information about the Advisory Council, the Harper Award, the Warnham Innovation Grants, um, public statements that we've made, the board has made over years um, about things, everything from the murder of George Floyd to hate crimes against Asian Americans to et cetera. Um, memorials, uh, beloved um, friends who have passed, um, some of whom were quite young. I think about Stefano Montano. Um, and then of course, history, um, which includes our archives that live at the Yale Divinity Library um, in boxes and boxes. Um, our news stream, which comes towards the middle of the page, um, working together ways to get involved, the standing committees, related learning organizations, et cetera, et cetera. Resources that might be particularly useful to you um, include, among other things, a glossary of associations that we pay attention to. So these are a whole bunch of different education and religious education organizations. Um, if there are some that you want us to pay attention to that aren't on that list, you should let me or who's ever, <laughs> or S or Kim shortly as the networking coordinator. Um, one of the things that we put on our website that's up for free, um, we don't charge for these postings and you don't have to be a member to get to them, but we list employment opportunities. So that might be something that you want to let people know about. Um, and there are a wide range, right? So here's a Dean of the School of Education. Here's a fellowship space, um, director of a learning community out in LA, um, a program administrator, lots of different kinds of things show up there. Um, then there's a whole bunch of um, meeting information, the current meeting, of course, that we're in right now, um, past and future meetings. And this is a useful link because you can get to the proceedings of previous meetings. You can get to the website and schedule of previous meetings and some of those meetings. Um, like last year's, for instance, if you go to the schedule from last year's, you can click on the videos and you can get to particular videos recordings from that meeting. And those are there um, in public space. You don't have to be a member to access that. Publications are journal, of course. And if you are a member, you get automatic access electronically um, to the journal. And this is how you get to the archives of it, but there's also lots of information about how to publish in the journal. There's a huge archive of eReach. Um, <laughs> the Religious Education Association Clearinghouse was what Reach was. It was a newsletter um, that in 2011 um, went electronic. And so um, that one comes out four times a year. Um, Horizons, which is our book publishing series, um, you can see the books there that we've done. We've got another couple new ones coming out shortly. And then of course, proceedings of all of our meetings, which as you can see, you get to on this page. If you wanna join or renew now, these are places where actually um, you do have to, the member directory, you have to be able to log in um, to get to the member directory of information. Um, so that is actually password protected, um, but anyway. That was a very quick walkthrough. There's a lot of information that lives on our website and um, it grows over time. And so sometimes I feel like people aren't always sure how to find things. That's what the networking coordinator can help you to do. Drop me an email or drop Esser in starting in August, um, nc at religiouseducation.net and get your questions answered. But are there other things you wanna know right now? about the website or for that matter about the association and then all of us who are deeply involved can perhaps answer. It doesn't have to just be me. Uh, Mary, uh, would you say a bit about the archives in terms of past, right. present and future? Right, so um, we uh, have a very extensive set of archives um, at the Yale Divinity School Library. In fact, if I went to that link, it would tell me in terms of feet, um, <laughs> how many boxes of things live there. Um, we used to have an archivist, Bernie Kathan, who has since retired from that task, um, but some people might remember him. Uh, and we put um, uh, some elect, I mean, it's a little bit hard to figure out whether the archives, the electronic archives, right, which is everything that lives in our domain right now, 
um, if any of you who are librarians will know that there's a concern, my spouse is a librarian, there's a concern that this time we're living through might be the dark ages in the sense that all the information that's being produced may not be collected and archived the way print materials used to be. And even when you put them on, well, DVDs, <laughs> nobody has DVD drives anymore. So um, so I guess the, the, the short answer to that, Noel, is there's a lot of past archives at the Yale Library, um, but going forward, a lot of it just lives on the web. Uh, just a follow-up. Is anyone officially the archivist, the way that uh, Bernie Kathan was? I'm going to look at Lakeisha. We had somebody a couple of years ago before the pandemic. I don't remember who that was, who was going to try to pick up that task. And I then the pandemic and lockdown and everything. And so I don't, would you be interested? <laughs> Uh, it's not feasible that I'd be interested, uh, but I, I think the uh, the board ought to be very interested in it, uh, simply because uh, it's the only way to get at the history of the, continue the history of the association. And at this point, we're well over 100 years, uh, taking into account the uh, previous separate associations that became REA uh, in the way it is now. So, uh, and it's not only REA, it's, it's other organizations as well. I look at <clears throat> and things go by and things are wind up in files everywhere, uh, you know, but nobody looks after them, so. One of the things I'm gonna show you here because this, this gets to our world of the electronic, right? We have a Wikipedia page and the Wikipedia page, amongst other things, has a list of um, presidents and executive secretaries. And to the extent that I can, I've linked them to um, uh, people who have Wikipedia pages, right? Um, it also includes, so it goes um, <laughs> REA, OPRI, then REA, OPRI, <laughs> the general secretaries, the executive secretaries of RE, of OPRI, executive secretaries of RE, OPRI, and then, of course, a bunch of um, citations. I think one of the things about the Wikipedia that's interesting to me, if any of you have ever done a search via a digital assistant, say Alexa or Siri or one of those, most of them go first to the Wikipedia for their information. And so that's why it's important that REA maintain a space there. And I think um, you're right, Noel, that maybe the board could think again about how to beef that up actually. Um, yeah, other questions, comments? You know, we're a very sprawling participatory organization and sometimes it can be hard to figure out how to get active. Elizabeth, you were gonna say something. Yeah, um, I'm, I would like to join the, uh, the session that is talking about the website but it is really late um, and and so my question to you uh, is can you tell me um, yeah do I need to stay up to midnight to to do that <laughs> or or um, has your quick overview um, helped that what what's happening about the changes in right. the website so so um, actually I think we are actively looking for people who want to join in the process of helping us to revise the website. There's two pieces to that project. One is that um, as digital tech continues to evolve, right? The infrastructure that we've created, um, like we manage all of our own membership stuff and all of our conference, all of that kind of stuff um, is quite robust, but can get better, right? So there's technical infrastructure underneath it that is gonna get redesigned um, in the next year that the board has approved a contract to redesign. Um, and so we need information from people about what would be helpful, what would work better for you, what would you like, right? And then the second piece of that is kind of the look and feel of the organization, um, which the website also represents. And we really want people on, so the meeting um, Thursday morning, I guess it is, 
is to try to coax people into getting interested in helping with that project. Um, so I would love it, Elizabeth. You have such a long experience with this organization. And if that's a terrible time of day, because we tried to shove it into a time that wasn't competing with papers, drop a note to tech at religiouseducation.net telling them you want to be involved and they will happily draw you in without you having to come, <laughs> you know, at the wee hours of the night. <laughs> That's true for any of you, actually. I mean, and if any of you know somebody in the association or in this wider ecology who has design experience in terms of graphic design, right? Our logo is pretty old. <laughs> Maybe we should just keep it that way. But, you know, the look and feel of a website um, includes things like, you know, what it looks like. Norma, go ahead. In, in thinking of our history, 102 years now, right? Uh, and I've been a member for almost 50 years, so almost half of that time. <laughs> and I, I, it is amazing, this global, international, uh, ecumen interfaith, now we have grown into that, but it, I, I want to say to those who have joined more recently that I think the first one I was a part of with Barney Kathan, you know, at Yale, was on uh, American civil religion. And here we are in the United States with Christian nationalism. And I'm thinking also the second one I think I was at was, was styles of learning. And that became part of um, my theology of methodology that I've taught of these 50 years, that so much of who I have been as a professor and the, th the continuous way in which would begin at a certain conference and become a permanent part of my, uh, of all these 50 years it, uh, is just unimaginable. I mean, I've been part of other groups, obviously, but uh, it is so important. So we are the lived history and um, and we're we're called to continue to live that, which means appreciating the history and and knowing how much each of us are living that out. and and I pray for many of us for many years to come. You know, a really interesting way to even just look at the last decade is to look at the themes of the meetings, right? Mm -hmm. So learning religion, religiously learning amidst global cultural flows, brain matters, neuroscience and diversity, let freedom ring, religious yeah. education at the intersection of social justice, liberation, civil human rights, coming out religiously, religion, the public sphere and religious identity formation, unmaking violence, religion and education and yeah. the unmaking of violence, connecting, disrupting, so sorry, all of those um, are themes that have been at the heart, even just in the last 14 years, right? Yeah. And, and I think it's worth noting, actually, I was realizing, Norma, I think officially REA started in 1903. So it yeah. might be 120 years now. So we are one of the oldest yes. associations. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it's worth noting that um, when REA began, it was um, at least interreligious to the extent that it was Christian and Jewish, which was pretty unusual even in 1903. Um, it was very US centric. It's, it, we're trying to um, not, not be that so much anymore, but. You know, one of the things about this association, you heard it from a couple of people um, who's, uh, doctor mothers and doctor fathers told them you have to come to this meeting, right? Um, and and I think that there's something um, creative and participatory about this place. I've been involved since 1997, I think 96 maybe. Um, we've tried through both the association and the journal to be collegial, 
So yeah. if some of you have had experiences with the American Academy of Religion or some other um, uh, scholarly associations, um, we aren't that kind of competitive. I mean, I'm sure we're competitive, but not in that particular way. We're trying to do something different. Um, we don't always succeed, but we try. Lakeisha, I feel like I've been talking a lot. I, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to turn it back over to you here. I'm literally just soaking up all the wisdom. I mean, you're you're gone after this. So I'm literally just like letting, soaking it all in, letting it just seep over me. Because I'm like every every day I'm trying to, to not not have tears about you not not being here next year. <laughs> um. Okay. So with 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 that, you have I think you've done an amazing overview. I don't need to cover any of that. I mean, you took some questions. Um. The next piece of what we wanted to offer for the reception time was really just what we would normally do if we were together, which is like the lightning talks. So if there are announcements or things that you want to share, things you want us to know that you're researching, that you're working on. Um, you know, I know there are some folks that, you know, maybe you weren't able to get in a paper because I know it kind of happened at the end of the semester for some or whatnot, but maybe you're working on something, you want some feedback. We just do lightning talks. And so essentially um, they're kind of quick one minute, you know, minute and a half, maybe just quick. You say what it is. Um, and it's just kind of for the good of the body, right? So that we can know and we can kind of uh, link in with you if you want. So you can also put your information in the chat right now. If you want to do that, we also have a Padlet. Um, I'm pretty sure Mary is probably going to link that in again real quick uh, in the chat in a second because I can see her working. Um, and so you can also, once you do say it here uh, for the group, then you can also go and put it on the Padlet so that we can also track that as well. Um, and also don't forget, we also have another Padlet. Uh, Mary never wants to post this one, but I'm going to post it. It's the Padlet that uh, is all about gratitude for Mary Hess. <laughs> so I'm going to put that one in now. Um, and so don't forget to also show some, some gratitude so that when, uh, she, when the meeting's over and she's ready to, you know, have some tissues next to her, uh, she can go back and look at all of the gratitude that we might've had. And she can just kind of, uh, reflect on all of the good things that she's done. So, uh, with that, are there any, is anyone want to start with the, uh, the lightning talks? We can have one person start. And if you want to go, you can put your name in the chat. Um, if you want to do that. So is there anyone that might have something they want to share with the group for a minute, minute and a half? And I'm, I don't know about some of you, but I've been, I've been really good at keeping time in my sessions uh, today. So I will kindly let you know if you go over two minutes, say so time to wrap it up. <laughs> All right. And I know we only have about let, close to about 12 minutes, so we won't hold you over, over that time. Okay. Um, so anyone want to go first? Patrick, Patrick, you want to go first? What's going on? I'll go first. Uh, yeah. So two uh, two quick things. One is um, related to this theme next week, the Children's Defense Fund will be hosting its um, annual Children's Defense um, Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. It's a collaboration of the Freedom Seminary part, which I'm also the co-dean of, uh, has a collaboration of seminaries. We have about 26 right now that have participated on off every year. Um, so if you want to be a part of that, write me after. I would love to include you or your institution in that work. And the second thing is just to get involved with REA. So this is my plug as an REA president. We have um, tons of committees and we need the support. So as much as we love ideas, we ideas are only as good as they're executed and we need people to execute them. So if you can help, if you got time, or if you don't have time like me and you still want to help, that's a good thing too. All right, there I go. Minute, we good? That was only about a, you know, 45 seconds. That was good. That was good. I'll, I'll accept it. Um, any, um, who wants to go next? Thank you for that, Patrick. I'll, no other I'll go next. I guess, oh, please. Sorry. No, go ahead, Paulette. Okay, Is it Paulette so uh, Paulette Isaac Savage, University of Missouri, St. Louis. So just wanted to share that uh, Barbara Fears and I are working on some uh, research looking at instructional perspectives of Christian educators in the Black church. So we um, are looking at... Um, uh, educators from the uh, main Black line denominations, so the AMEs, AME Zion, CME Church, uh, National Baptist uh, Incorporated as well. So we're just getting off the ground with that and working on a couple of manuscripts. So real excited about that work. Fabulous, wonderful, exciting. And again, feel free, make sure you're dropping emails in here in case people want to reach you about the amazing work that you're doing. 
what else do we have? Any, anyone else? Good things happening, good things in the works, good things to be on the lookout for. Akisha, is it okay if I talk? Go, go for it. Yes, please. Thank you. I'm Erin, and I'm at the uh, Children's Spirituality Research and Innovation Hub. Our outward facing name is Real Kids Real Faith. Um, and we have a website, which is great. Um, it's got a lot of good resources on um, connecting social sciences to how we think about children and their spirituality. Um, and I'll drop that website um, in uh, the chat. Um, we also, um, one of the cool things that we do where I sort of spend the most of my time is with our innovation grants. Um, and that's looking at how we innovate in the area of children's spirituality. So what are new things um, that organizations, churches, um, schools, et cetera, are doing with um, ages zero to 12? Um, and these are small grants um, to sort of test out some ideas on how we put all of the things that we're learning about how children learn and grow and develop um, into practice in different places. So if anyone has groups they're working with or ideas that they're sort of playing with or want to think about, um, we'd love to be conversation partners. And I'll put my email as well in the chat. Fabulous. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else while our, our time time just flies away? Any, any, any other things we want to talk about or mention? No, okay. Um, if not, I will say just remember to please go look at the Padlet. There's some really great things on there. You know, the resource, I think there was an um, timer. Uh, there was an embodied prayer that I think was just put up. Um, again, I know we're, we're doing a lot of sitting and we're in front of screens, but please remember to move your bodies, breathe deeply, <laughs> um, stretch when you need to. So feel free to check out that embodied prayer. Also after this session, the um, LGBTQ, um, Q, a IA plus allies working group will be meeting um, from 9.30 to 10.30 p.m. Eastern time. So right after this, so um, uh, well, 30 minutes after this. So feel free if you wanna stay for that, but also just check out the other announcements. I know there's one for the Association of Youth Ministry Educators, the conference that's coming up in October and just lots of other things. So please um, look on the, the Padlet. Um, anything else? If not, we might get a couple of minutes back. Anything else? Elizabeth Nolan. Yes. Just a question. Um, the senior scholars group, um, I didn't notice that on the program uh, this time. Um, and just wondering, uh, I haven't been active about it, but just wondering where we're at. Uh, nobody's been active in it. <laughs> I think I think some of the senior scholars, Elizabeth, had a more challenging time with the online meeting starting with the lockdown of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And so um, some of that organizing drifted away, but you know, we'd love to have it revive if you want to help. <laughs> uh, I, sh I shall, I shall uh, call on my, my dear friends, Jack and Noel and Norma, um, because uh, yeah, it, it, it is important. I'm wearing my, uh, for their benefit, I'm wearing my red uh, jacket today in honor of Barney Kathan. <laughs> uh, yeah. I have a one quick question. Is it okay? Um, so this is a, a sharing and also a question. So um, last month in Korea, we had a International Academy of Practical Theology conference um and it was very very good and very good to see all uh scholars in the world in korea as a person who came back to korea and who thought I i'm going to be disconnected to all those people so it was very nice and i could also meet some um our mm -hmm. korean students who were studying abroad they came back to korea and also they joined the conference we had a conversation and many of them were members of the rea so one of the things that we were thinking and sh shared uh, was to have a, a local meeting in Korea. So I was wondering if that would be possible, if we can get some support from the REA. I saw, yes. yeah, those local meeting encouragement. Yes. The answer is yes. Yeah, do you, yes. Uh, uh, regional meetings, we would love that. Steering committee would be behind that. Uh, you can write uh, Lakeisha an email after and uh, yes, absolutely. I, I want to note too that prior to the pandemic, 
actually. So at the meeting in Toronto in 2019, we had a lovely breakfast meeting with a number of scholars, Christian education scholars from Korea, who were planning an international meeting that was going to happen the following, I think in the in the spring of 21, maybe. I'm not going to remember precisely, but then the pandemic happened. And so some of that relationship also dwindled. So it would be lovely and we could give you, you know, we could help with whatever information we had from that that time. Great. I also just wanted to, to throw to throw out there to, to you, to anyone that's interested, please, if, if, you know, I think we know this was our first try at the regional gatherings this year. Um, again, I don't know, you know, when the voting happens, they, I mean, the board votes, you know, I'm just, I'm just enacting things on my end. Um, but when they vote to stay online or to go in person, just know that if there are regional gatherings available, please send me an email. I'm, I'm happy to walk you through where to look on the website because um, we really just need the basic information and then everything kind of goes through me and I'm happy to, I will send you the funds, get you whatever you need. Like we will make it happen and do everything that we can. So know that you are not alone in that process by any means. Um, we asked for a name just to kind of have a point person, but we are fully here to support you. We, we want you to be able to do that, right? Because we realize we're, we're online. So we're trying to find these other ways to connect. And so please, wherever you are international, I will, we will, I know how to wire money. I know how to make things happen. We will, we will, we will get it taken care of. Cheryl, I see you raised your hand. You're, but you're muted. Cheryl, you're, oh, we can't hear you. <laughs> how, how is that now? Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, that, now we can hear you. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Mary. Just a question then, Lakeisha and Mary. Um, could you explain to me what's happening now with Lakeisha and Mary <laughs> or the, the roles or... Um, I'm, I think I'm not following like the transitional piece from uh, vice president, president, director, or like the different roles that have a, a progress through them. Um, and I apologize, I really haven't taken the time to, <laughs> to figure that out. But um, are there like, could you explain what the, the key roles are for us to um, contact people or um, ask questions to people or the ones that we should understand that are in, in flux. Is that clear? Yeah. That's actually really uh, a really great question. We probably should make sure we add that in <laughs> next time. <laughs> Part of the introduction. So, okay. uh, no, thank you. So, thank you. <laughs> um, so I serve as the executive secretary. So essentially I kind of do all the executing functions of, of, the, of the guild. So anything that needs to be paid for, I make sure it happens. Anything that needs to be enacted, uh, I make sure that that happens. I, I check in with our accountant. I check in with our treasurer. I make sure all of that happens. Um, I essentially kind of handle a lot of the day-to-day -day kind of ish tasks of the organization, things that need to get enacted. If we were in person. I'm the one that would make sure we have everything with the hotel, with the lodging, with all, all of all of that going on. So I handle a lot of those pieces. Anything that the board decides, I'm the one that kind of sends the emails. I make the connections. I do all the, the kind of the, the working pieces. Um, uh, Mary Hess, who is currently the networking coordinator, does all kind of, I mean, more than that, but all the networking. So she does the newsletters. She does the stuff on our social media. She does um, any kind of outreach that needs to go out to communications that are larger. She does a lot of the this stuff for the annual meeting, the behind the scenes tech stuff, uploading stuff to our YouTube page. I mean, it goes on and on. I feel like e-reach, literally, if you see something change on the schedule, it is probably her <laughs> uh, doing a lot of those behind the scenes things that are making it happen. Uh, Christine Hong is our new Jedi. Uh, and feel free to throw more in the chat, Mary. I'm trying to do it briefly because I know it's nine o'clock. Uh, Christine Hong is our new Jedi officer who just who just got into the position. And so she's doing all everything around the justice, equity, diversity, inclusion stuff. So when we talk about the live transcripts, transcripts for the, the Spanish and Korean translations that we have during our plenaries, that's the kind of stuff she's working on, right? Like she's getting a lot of that happen. And then the fourth person that rounds out the four staffers that actually get paid monthly um, so it's myself, Mary, Christine, and then Joyce, who does our, our journal, Joyce Mercer, who does our journal. So those are the technical four RA staffers who are also ex officio. So we don't get any votes on anything. We do the enacting and the running of the organization, but no votes on doing any of the things. We just make them happen. 
Um, so that's kind of the, the outlay. Mary Hess is currently the outgoing networking coordinator. She is retiring after, you know, my sadness, but she's done amazing things. And so Esther Kim will be the interim networking coordinator starting in August. She's only going to be interim for a year from August to August, 2024. So we will be in the process of looking for a full-time networking coordinator. If you know someone or you're interested, please, please don't even email me, call me. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I, only a little bit, but feel free to, to reach out, call me, talk to Mary. You know, because there's a lot of but, things involved. But, but no, I, I know every time you say full time, I think we've got to tell people, no, it's yes. like four hours a week. It's yes. not, it's not, a, but she means somebody for a three year contract. Yes. Sorry. That's what I mean. Yeah. None of these positions, even though I feel like we answer these emails all the time, these are not actually full time positions. They're not paid in that way. That's not how they're set up. It's kind of like a stipend system. So when we don't get back to you right away, some of that is because we're only supposed to be working a certain amount of time a week and we're trying to give ourselves boundaries. <laughs> um, so that's a part of it. Um, so yeah, so we're looking for that. Also, uh, what other things? Oh, the so, oh, it's, it's, I know it's time. And I think Anne will actually talk more about the governance structure and how that actually shifted and how we moved from the president and vice president being the program chair moving up to now it being separate voting to where it was actually voted on a couple of years ago that we will actually no longer have them move into roles, but they'll be elected by our membership. So people don't just move from role to role, but our membership is now going to be responsible for voting them in. Um, yeah, but uh, Anne's going to talk about that at the presidential address and kind of remind people what was voted on a few years ago and how we're beginning to enact it, because this is the first year that that's actually happening. So more of that at the presidential address. So feel free to uh, go there or, or watch it on, on the replay, because I know our time is up and I don't want to hold anyone up. But hopefully that was a helpful. Because I know we're all doing a whole Thank lot of things. Thank you very yeah. much. That was great. Thank you very much. <laughs> Absolutely. We will talk. Yes, please, please, please. Um, but that was really good. I'll make sure uh, on our debrief notes, I'm making a note to make sure we mention the roles and all of that, because again, everyone doesn't know and a lot of things have shifted and changed and will probably continue. So thank you really for that, Cheryl. Um, okay, I know that is that is our time. Um, please feel free to reach out for me, things you wanna do that you're interested in. Thanks, Elizabeth, I look forward to that. If you want a regional gathering, reach out to me. And if you don't know who to reach out to me, reach out to me and I will make sure you get to the right person. <laughs> and look at the website because there's a ton of information about these role changes and who does what and all that kind of stuff is on the website. Yes, but thank you. Welcome. Uh, for those of you that are just here, welcome. Uh, happy, good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you find yourself. Uh, we look forward to an amazing uh, day tomorrow. Thank you all for a great session. Um, as always, I think the feedback link, um, we'll probably put that in there. Um, so as always, feedback is, is, is more than welcome. Um, welcome. Enjoy the session. Enjoy the, the 2023 REA, the rest of the conference. Uh, come in when you can. Do, do what you need for you and your body. If you need your screen off, just know you're welcome. Little people are welcome. Fur, pe fur babies, all, all of those things uh, during our time together. Take what you need. Stay hydrated. Even when you're sitting, <laughs> take breaks, stretch, breathe. Uh, we are glad you are here. We are glad you're part of REA uh, and welcome. So have a great one. <laughs>